this is Donna. I'm going to show you how to quickly cut a watermelon so that your family eats it. So, always do it in the sink uh, because I don't like messes. So, get a big old knife. You start slicing. Of course, you want to be very careful. You don't want to cut yourself. I have did that before. So, you cut it in half. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got a little bruise on it, but we'll cut that off. Um, and nothing will go to waste, and I'll show you what I mean later. So let's get a, one of the slices. Again, this watermelon looks delicious. It's a seedless Florida watermelon. Um, Right now we are in the first part of August, so we do still have watermelons here, and all melons actually. So you've got your watermelon like this, so you can take it first and cut it straight down. Um, stop at the rind. Your family is not going to eat that, but I know someone who will. Um, and then you just start slicing it off, letting it fall into your container that you're going to put in your refrigerator so that your family can get to it very easily. Um, and here we go. For you knife specialists out there, I may not be using the right knife for this job, but I'm a home cook, okay? So this we're going to put over on the pan right here. Uh, these slices, I'm gonna make them just a little bit smaller um, for little fingers. And we move on. So we'll cut the next slice and so on and so forth. This is where one of the speed ups would do great. Um, because you guys don't want to see me cutting this watermelon. Y'all are get bored. Turn, turn the TV off. Yeah. Or you could just hang around to see when I'm going to cut my finger. <laughs> it's kind of like a fish. Dang. Oh, Mama Mia, she's a tough one, or either I'm weak, I don't know which, but either way, we're going to get it. So here we go again. This makes it so easy for you to come and get a bowl for your kiddos or for your spouse or um, even take to a picnic with you. So that's the gist of that. Now, what am I going to do with this, you might ask? We do recycle here all of our household waste that we can. Um, and we recycle it um, in a container that has red worms. And then we use the red worm castings as well as the, the red worms to, um, to help fertilize. It's uh, an organic fertilizer. Or you can have the worms that help aerate your soil. So there are different techniques that you could use for that. So this, I'll cut it a little bit smaller and I'll put it in the freezer and as I need it for the worms, I'll pull it out. This is one of their favorite foods. Until next time, peace.